Hi everyone! So I'm really in video making mode today. I just filmed a tutorial for this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, which is inspired by Kate Middleton, so if you're interested in that, go check it out. Um, I thought I'd keep the momentum going and film my April Favorites video. So there were definitely some standout products this month that uh, I've really been enjoying and have been reaching for again and again. And um, to start off, I'll talk about the Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow palettes. I've mentioned these before in other videos. I've actually used one of them to do this Kate Middleton look. So I've picked up a few of these over the course of the month. The first one I got was Lust, which is the purpley plum colors. And then I <laughs> couldn't help myself. I went back and got Vanity, which is the browns and kind of golds. Nice neutral palette. And Greed, which is the one I used to do my look today which is kind of an odd mix of colors, but they're all really, really pretty, really handy. Across the board, these are really pigmented, really silky, blendable, and really inexpensive. So, um, I've just been using them endlessly this month. Either using the shades in each palette together to create a full look, or just... I mean, some of them, like this Greed one's even worth the six bucks, I think, just to get the two black shades at the bottom, I mean. They're so, so pigmented, and they, I think, are comparable to, you know, Carbon and Black Tide from MAC. In fact, there's quite a few shades in the color icon range that are good, good dupes for MAC colors, like in the Lust palette. This color here, this shimmery, shimmery dark purple is really similar to Beauty Marked. Um, the shimmery charcoal above it reminds me a lot of Night Divine. Um, I've heard that this color is really comparable to yogurt. This is like vanilla. Um, I know MAC has a purple like that too. I think it might be Fig One. Something like that. Um, the MAC cream shades that they give you in a couple of the palettes is like this one here is really, really similar to Brulee. But even more pigmented than Brulee. It's just really, really, um, really standout colors. So... Definitely been loving those, and we'll continue to experiment with them and enjoy them, sure, but for the month of April, they're definitely a favorite. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, from NYC. I tried for the first time this month their blushable cream sticks. I got a couple of them. One is kind of a peachy pink color, which I'm wearing today, and it's called Plaza Pink. And the other one is Big Apple Blush, which is a slightly deeper, rosier shade. So both really great for fair skin. Um, they're really cheap. They're like three or four dollars for a tube. You're getting eight grams of product, which is a lot. I think they're really easy to use. You can apply them with your fingers. You can just sort of swipe them on and blend them out. You can use a brush. Um, you can wear them really sheer. You can build them up for intensity. There's just kind of no end to what you can do with these. I've even tried them on my lips in a pinch and they, they work for that as well. And they, they come in a really impressive range of colors, is what really struck me about this line. I mean, these two shades are the ones I got because they're probably about the best for fair skin. But they come in a lot of really much deeper shades, like some you know dark wines and some deep, deep red rosy shades. Colors that would really work nicely for medium to darker skin tones. So that, that kind of impressed me. So definitely check those out if you like cream blush. Um, oh, they're also really, I mean, I wear them on their own, and they're also really handy to use as a base underneath a powder blush to make your blush last longer through the day. I thought I would mention that. Um, a couple of lip products. First one I want to mention is Revlon's Color Burst Lipstick in Petal. I used this for my tutorial today, and I've been wearing it a lot. It's just a really kind of soft pink with a bit of a gold sheen. It's actually really, really close to my natural lip color, and that's why I like it. It's great for those days when you just want a low-maintenance lip, something you can just swipe on really easy without thinking about it. It's really creamy and moisturizing feeling, and it's... it's For me, it's a dupe for a really pretty Estee Lauder lipstick that I'd been coveting called Crystal Baby. <laughs> but the Revlon price tag was, was much more favorable for me, so I was really happy to, to find that color, and I've been wearing it a lot this month. I like the way it feels, I like the way it looks. I'd definitely consider repurchasing that when I inevitably run out of it. Another really low-maintenance lip product 
is the Nivea Pearly Shine Lip Balm, which is just a tinted lip balm with a little bit of a sheen to it. Nicole sent me this in our beauty bag swap that we did a couple of weeks ago, and I've just been wearing it so much in the last couple of weeks. Because again, I am really a big fan of the low maintenance lip. I don't often wear really bold lip colors just because they start to wear off through the day, and you gotta make sure you don't got popsicle mouth, so I like, I like lip colors that are quick and easy, that add a hint of color without being too overwhelming, and this, it smells like candy. That's one thing that's driving me nuts about it, is that it smells like a very particular type of candy, and I can't really put my finger on what it is, but I know it's something I ate a lot as a kid. Skittles, maybe? I don't know. It smells delicious, though, and I love it. So thanks again to Nicole for sending me that, because it's been indispensable for me this month. Um, this month was the month that I really discovered NYX Cosmetics. I mean, I, for the longest time, didn't even think there was anywhere in my town that I could buy NYX, and then I found out recently that there is a Rexall pharmacy nearby that carries NYX stuff, so I picked up a few things from them. Um, their Doll Eye Volumizing Mascara has become my all-time favorite drugstore mascara, displacing the long-time favorite Rimmel Sexy Curve. So I'm not going to say too much about this mascara in this video just because I've already posted a review of it. So um, if you're interested in this product, go check that out. But I just love it. And also from NYX, the concealer in a jar, which Nicole sent me in the swap that we did because my store doesn't carry this product and I was on the hunt for a long time for a new concealer to replace the now discontinued Maybelline Dream Mousse and this has definitely um, met my expectations and even surpassed my expectations. It's really creamy and blendable, great coverage, great staying power, smells nice, and is a good match for my skin tone. I have this in Fair, which is shade 2. I've been using this for under eye circles, for blemishes. It's now my one and only go-to concealer. Um, I've got a couple of foundations to talk about. NYC Smooth Skin, which again I've already posted a review on this product as well, so you can go check that out. Um, really, really inexpensive, yet impressive product. I mean, I picked this bottle up on sale for three dollars. It's normally about four or five bucks at Walmart, I think, and uh, just it, it just performs really well. Holds up really well, even on my oily skin. It's got really decent coverage and a nice finish. Um, Hasn't broken me out. I've been using it quite a bit on and off throughout the month and uh, really, really happy with this really inexpensive foundation. Um, I also tried another liquid foundation from the drugstore this month, the Almay Nearly Naked, and I really, really, really like this foundation as well. It do it's uh, true to its name. It is a very lightweight, very sheer foundation. It's not going to give you a ton of coverage. It's maybe about one step up from what you'd get from a tinted moisturizer, but I mean, I really like that some days. Just something really lightweight that can even out the skin tone without um, looking too obvious. And one thing I want to point out about this foundation is that I've been seeing all of these glowing reviews here on YouTube for Chanel's Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. And everything that people are saying about that foundation, I think, is also true of this Almay Nearly Naked. It sounds like they're a really similar kind of formulation, you know, water based foundations that go on really light and sheer. They don't they don't have that cakey look. They don't settle into the pores. They just it just they look, you know, it looks like just your skin when you're wearing it. It's like a second skin when you put it on. It's just really really nice. It feels nice on like it, it feels really hydrating going on and then it just kind of feels like nothing. Like you don't have anything on. I hate that feeling when you can tell there's foundation sitting on the skin like a mask. I really can't stand that. So Really, really loving that foundation. I've been trading off, you know, between these two all month long, depending on whether I want more or less coverage. Um, I've also tried the NYC Smooth Skin Powder, and I think I have to include this in my favorites this month because it's uh, just a really great, inexpensive loose powder. I got it in translucent, but it does come in some different colors. Sets my foundation really well, has a nice finish, doesn't look too ashy, and it's only, again, three or four dollars for a, quite a large amount of product. Um, last but not least, I want to mention a hair product. I got the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. 
I use this when I straighten my hair. Just spritz it in each strand as I go along, straightening my hair with a flat iron, and it really does make a difference in how my hair feels afterwards. Um, without it, my hair kind of feels dry and crunchy like straw, and this makes it, you know, smooth and silky, and it's uh, really lightweight. It doesn't weigh the hair down or make it feel greasy or anything like that. And it's um, got a really nice light green apple scent, which I really like. And uh, about five bucks at Walmart, I think it is, or in, in that ballpark. And um, I really do feel like it's, you know, giving my hair some extra hydration and protection from from the flat iron, so I've been really enjoying that. So there you have it, those are my April favorites. If you have any questions about any of these products, just send a message to my inbox or um, leave us a comment and I'll get back to you. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. We really appreciate the support and uh, have a great day.